Hello, hobbyists. So how are you today? So for today's video, we'll discuss about how to breathe your zebra Danius fish. So if you didn't yet master 100% breeding your zebra Danius, so this time I'm going to show you how to breed them. And of course, this video is for you. So what we're we waiting for? Let's go! This time, guys, is what we usually do when breeding egg barrel fish. We always do separating the male and female to their different tanks to condition them. For the male to produce more milk and the female to produce more eggs. And this time is already two weeks since we start conditioning them by feeding them three to four times a day with live foods and food that are rich in nutrients. So now let's collect them for breeding. So when conditioning them, not only feeding them with live foods, also you need to ensure they have a good water parameters. And Daniels are quite hardy when it comes to water conditions. If you're not using filter, you can change the water to 50% every week. And if you are in cold countries, you need to maintain the water temperature by 70 to 78 Fahrenheit. So there you go, we have here 4 females and 2 males. And as what you can see still we have male shortage here. <laughs> And for breeding, we are using fine net to make the eggs fall at the bottom. And you have to place them on a breeding tank at 4 p.m. to avoid pre-breeding. Because of my own experience, when they breed at known time, usually their eggs were unfertilized. So you need to take notes of that.
So now let's add the breeder at once and wait for tomorrow's result. So time check, it's already 7 in the morning. So let's place our breeder back to the original tank for another conditioning. And now as what you can see, there are a lot of eggs at the bottom, right? <laughs> the clear eggs were good and fertilized. So this time we need to add metal in blue to discourage the fungus bloom. So there you go. So after 3 to 4 days, the fry are free swimming and this time you can feed them with Infosoria, baby brine shrimp or BBS and wild dapia. You can also feed them with a powder feeds don't worry because Daniel's fry are not really picky eater unlike a bit of fish fry or you can transfer them to a bigger tank for fast growth and I guess that's all for today guys hopefully this guide will help you on breeding your Daniels fish and if you have any comments, suggestions and clarifications regarding to our video, just drop your comments below. And of course, if you like this video, just give us a like and if you are new here, please consider subscribing to get updated our upcoming tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much guys, please be safe everyone, to God be the glory, bye bye.